Aloha and welcome to another installment of Cabrina's Tech Tips. In this segment, we'll be showing you how to replace your IDS landing line with the new and improved polyurethane coated version. In an open area with adequate space, lay out and separate your lines all the way to the end. Pull the Velcro open on the IDS landing line quick release handle, otherwise known as QR2. This will release the landing line ring from the security pin. Once the ring is off the pin, go ahead and remove the stainless steel ring from the landing line. The next step is to pull the landing line through the control system components up to the bungee section of the line, making sure to note its path during removal. Once you're there, go ahead and separate the landing line from the bungee section. Since the bungee section does get reused, make sure it stays attached to the swivel as you're only replacing the landing line itself. Using a small wrench, loosen the nut on the stainless steel triangle in a counterclockwise rotation. The triangle is located at the bottom of the center line adjustment strap, otherwise known as the CAS. Once the nut's been loosened, Go ahead and unscrew it all the way until it stops. This will leave enough of a gap to remove the D-Power main line from the triangle. Using a number one Phillips screwdriver, loosen and remove the red stopper ball. Be sure to loosen both set screws located on either side of the stopper ball. With both screws now loose, you should be able to remove the stopper ball from the D-Power mainline. Now you can remove the override body from the D-Power mainline. With everything now off, you can pull the D-Power mainline through the control bar center section, allowing you to remove the black line guide ball. For those riding with an override IDS stopper, you'll need to remove it by manually forcing it through the top of the override body with a finger. Once you have it sticking out the top, simply squeeze it together and pull to remove. If that method didn't work for you, you can use the small Phillips screwdriver in your kite bag to gently pry the sleeve back out the bottom as shown. You'll now want to attach the new IDS landing line to the bungee section using a standard loop-to-loop -loop connection. Do so by threading the bungee line through the top loop of the IDS landing line. Next, take the bottom loop of the IDS landing line and thread it through the bungee loop. Now just pull the line through and make sure it's tight. Now, go ahead and re-thread the new landing line through the upper triangle of the CAS and through the center section of the bar. Now go ahead and re-thread the new landing line through the hole in the primary quick release. Once that's done, you can go ahead and reattach the stainless steel ring to the new landing line. Be sure to double check that the ring is securely attached. The next step is to fasten the ring to the security pin. Do so by threading the ring onto the security pin and folding it over. Now you can go ahead and rewrap the Velcro tightly around the security pin. Double check to make sure the connection is secure. Next we're going to re-thread the D-Power mainline through the control bar center section and the override body, making sure to leave off the black landing line guide ball. You will no longer need this part. With the override body now threaded back onto the D-Power mainline, you can reattach the red stopper ball. Do so by threading it back onto the D-Power mainline till it sits flush with the top of the tubing. Now grab that small screwdriver and tighten both set screws. Next, you'll want to carefully re-thread the stainless triangle through the loop in the D-Power mainline and tighten the nut with a wrench. 
you can go ahead and hand tighten until it stops and give the final tightening with that small wrench. For those riders using an override IDS stopper unit, simply reinstall the sleeve back onto the D-Power mainline, ensuring that the orientation with the screw hole is facing down towards the bar. Next, simply reattach the tension ring back to the override body and squeeze to achieve the desired tension. Now just go grab your kite and let's pump up. We're done. It's time to go out and ride.